Welcome to Painting Workshops 12, which is a collection of four floral still life paintings. Hi, welcome to my studio. I'm Richard, and in this lesson, we're going to be looking at painting flowers. And in the next few lessons, we're going to be painting flowers and getting gradually more and more complex as we go. Um, so here's one of finished behind me here, but we're not going to start out that complicated. We're going to start out nice and simple with a single yellow rose. So follow me step by step as we try to come to grips with this ageless beauty. We'll start off by sketching it in pencil and then we'll dive into the paint. You'll learn to keep your colors as pure as possible by starting out with a large brush and to avoid getting lost in all that beautiful detail I'll teach you to keep squinting at the flower so that you're able to see it as an interrelated whole so that you can compare the lights with the lights and the darks with the darks. All that and lots more. Next we move on to lilies. Hey welcome back to the studio. Got some flowers for you here. Um, last time we were painting uh, fake roses and this time we're going to throw the faux roses and be silly with a lily. Now we're going to try and paint these beautiful things. They're so sculptural though. They look like fake flowers, but they're not. They smell fantastic. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about setting up a still life, monochrome underpainting, matching colors accurately, and creating subtle glowing effects. This is a little more complex than the first lesson of the yellow rose, so we'll take our time and learn to really see before we paint. Next up, we're going to paint petunias. Hey, welcome back to the studio. I uh, hope you'll join me today in painting some beautiful petunias. I actually went into the flower store to pick up some pansies and ended up walking out with these beautiful things. They're uh, really delicate and sculptural and uh, should be a joy to paint. So, I'm going to be using acrylics and oils and uh, you could use either or both. So let's get started. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about building a textural background, pre-mixing grays, painting with shapes, focusing with edges. And this intensive study will teach you as much about painting as it will teach you about who you are as a painter. In the final lesson, we paint roses. Hi, welcome back to the studio where we're going to paint these beautiful flowers. Uh, which were given to me by a very nice lady down the road and um, I'm going to end up with a joyful painting that looks a little something like this. Let me take you step by step through this painting lesson where you'll discover how to paint this joyful painting using broken color and lyrical brushwork. Discover how to paint the delicate hue shifts in the white rose and how reflected light makes the petals seem more real and a whole lot more. Learn by comparing your work with other students' work and by reading my personal critiques. This is a great way to improve your painting quickly. You'll find that my method of painting is very fast and fluid, but the way I teach is nice and slow. So you'll find it a joy to paint quickly and confidently following this lesson step by step, just like thousands of my students are all over the world. I suspect that if you've watched this video all the way to this point, then you're probably going to enjoy the lesson. So let's get started. 